man of the temple. The old man of the temple was written by R. K. Narayan. Narayan was born in Madras, India, in 1906. He used to be a teacher, and then he became a writer. His novel, The Guy, won India's highest honor. In the story, you will hear the, the story of a man going home in a taxi, but not all is as it seems. It was some years ago that this happened. I'd engaged a taxi for going to Cumbum. I went in the morning at about 9 in the evening. I got back in the cab. Doris, the driver, was a young fellow of about 25 years old. He dressed across smoothly, seldom swears at passerby, and exhibited perfect judgment, good sense, and sovereignty. And so I preferred him today over any other driver. It was about 11 o'clock when we passed the village of Coupel. It was the dark cast of the month. You old fool! Do you want to kill yourself? What is the matter? You see that old fellow, sir? He's trying to kill himself. I can't understand what he's up to. Which old man? There, there. He's coming towards us again. As soon as I saw him open that temple door and come out, I had a feeling, somehow, I must keep an eye on him. The doors are shut and sealed, and don't look as if they've been open for centuries. No, sir. I saw the old man open the doors and come out. He is standing there. Shall we ask him to open them again if you want to go in and see? Let us stay going. We are wasting our time here. Are you permitting this fellow to come along with us, sir? Which fellow? Um. What is the matter with you, Doc? Have you had a drop of drink or something? I have never tasted any drink in my life, sir. Get down, old boy. Master says he can't take you. Are you talking to yourself? After all, I think we needn't care for these unknown fellows on the road. Doss, do you feel confident you can drive? If you feel busy at all, don't drive. Thank you, sir. I would rather not start the car now. I am feeling out of sorts. <laughs> Doss, Doss! Oh. <coughs> Do you feel better? Better. Better. <laughs> what happened to your voice? You sound like someone else. Nothing. My voice is as good as it was. When a man is 80, he's bound to feel a few changes coming on. Uh, you are 80, surely. Not a day less. Is anybody going to move this vehicle? If not, then there's no sense in sitting here all day. I will get down and go to my temple. I don't know how to drive, and unless you do it, I can't see how it's going to move. Me? These new chariots, God knows what they are drawn by. I never understand, though I could handle a pair of bullets in my time. May I ask you a question? Go on. Where is everybody? Who? Lots of people. I kn lots of people that I knew but are not here to be seen at all. All sorts of new fellows everywhere, and nobody seems to care. Not a soul comes by the temple. All sorts of people go, but no one who cares to stop and talk. Why doesn't the king come this way? He used to come this way at least once a year before. Which king? Let me go, you idiot. You don't seem to know anything. Go. Go away. Leave me alone. I have had enough of you. Why has ever come, you, Doss? Uh, who is this Doss, anyway? Doss, Doss, Doss. What an absurd name. Call me by my name or leave me alone. Don't follow me calling Doss, Doss. What is your name, then? Krishna Batar. And if you mention my name, people will know for a hundred miles around. I built a temple where there was only a cactus field before. I built all I built it all by myself with my own hands. Who is the king? Where do you come from? I belong to these parts certainly, but as far as I know there has been only collector at the head of the district. I have never heard of any king. 
Fancy never knowing the king. He will behead you if he hears it. What is his name? Um. I'm sorry to admit that my parents raised me in such ignorance that I don't even know my king. So won't you enlighten me? What is his name? Uh, Vishnu Varna. The emperor of emperors. What a king. He, he of kin visited my temple or sent his minister for the annual festival of the temple. But now nobody cares. People are becoming less godly nowadays. Listen to me. You ought not to be here anymore. What do you mean? Don't feel for it. I say you shouldn't be here anymore because you're dead. Dead? Dead? Don't talk nonsense. How can I be dead if you see me and I am speaking? I don't know at all. I told him that this story could only have happened about 500 years ago. It is like this, I guess. I was coming from the jungle one night after visiting my sister in the next village. I had some gold or ornaments on me when a band of thieves set upon me. They knifed me and set upon me and, and, every, and took everything I had, thinking that they had killed me. They were gone, and I returned to my temple, and have been here ever since. Krishna Bhakar, you are dead. Absolutely dead. You must try to get away from here. What will happen to the temple? Others will look after it. Where am I to go? Have you none to care for you? None except my wife. You can go to her. But she's been dead for the past four years. Four, four years from now? Yes, four years from now. She was alive when you were attacked? Yes. Certainly not. Well, she would not have let me go into the jungle after nightfall. It is imperative that you go to her. If she comes and calls with you... Um, how can... How can... How can she if she is dead? Thank you for and only her. What was her name? Sita. A wonderful girl. Thank you for Sita is coming. Am I dreaming? I will go with her. Cover your ears and sleep. It will surely go away. If you ha had not honked the horn, we would have thought it was the usual knocking. When did you first hear it? When my grandfather was living. He said he had seen it once or twice. It's unlikely that you will be troubled anymore.